Do you see this? <laughs> Do you see this name? This is a nursery I have had on my radar for years. I cannot tell you how long. Probably since the internet came to my mind with regards to orchids and checking on what is available on the internet, as opposed to being limited to buying locally. This nursery, I have never ordered from them before, but because they do rain mix, and rain mix is the equivalent of the MSU fertilizer, which is so famed and popular as being the best, so to speak. At least that is what the orchid market says. Others have popped up since. But anyway, back to rain mix. When I saw that a cairn has rain mix, should I ever run out of my MSU fertilizer, I knew I had a source and I had bought such a big stash of MSU fertilizer back in the day. I still have some, but I always on a regular visit a cairn orchids just to make sure that they are still stocking rain mix because <laughs> you know how it is. You find something, you like it, you want to keep using it, you're familiar with it, and then it's out of stock. But anyway, rain mix will one day be in my arsenal for my orchids because there is no way I am now going to be ordering MSU from the United States with the import tax and the shipping cost, etc. But to have this box here, let me tell you how this came about while I unbox it. But <laughs> I am super thrilled. Let's get you into a different angle and have a look, see what is going on. Because honestly, I have no idea what is in this box, but I will tell you how this came about just now. I could probably call this a mystery unboxing <laughs> because to a degree it is a mystery, but it was Tokyo World Mark YouTube channel, link in the description. Tokyo World Mark watches some of my videos and has been emailing me. We've been in contact and stuff. And then one day <laughs> I get an email that says, go to the current website and name me five orchids within this price bracket. Send me that in the email because he wants to say thank you to me. Thank you for what? Are you kidding me? I can't even say thank you enough with this. Anyway, so I did the email, I sent it to him and then um, another email came. Eventually it was an email in Spanish from Kenneth from Akern Orchids telling me the box was on the way. I'm like, in Spanish? I mean, I speak English, but th this nursery is so personalized, they even will send it in the language of country of origin. I, I just, I was blown away. And then another thing happened. It came so fast. I was totally unprepared. But when it comes to orchids, you know, a box of orchids, <laughs> I, and I'm still unprepared. I don't the only thing I've prepared here was my welcome cocktail, but I don't have any tubs because I don't know what is going on in here. But Tokyo World Mark, thank you so much for initiating this contact. I'm telling you, and this box is tight. So I'm telling you, I cannot thank you and Kenneth enough for being so kind as to do this and you are thanking me? Well, let me tell you something. This box, if anything moved in here, then <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't know how it moved. But I'm, I am well excited. Now, oh, fabulous. Now that is awesome. Silicon glue or some sort to make sure that it stays intact. I love it. These people love their orchids. And you know, you can tell why they love their orchids because a cairn is a nursery that started to go commercial because mom had a private orchid collection. And I guess there was a lot of divisions and goodies that could be sold on. So mom and dad, <laughs> you are right up my street because that sounds like something I might do if one day I have enough space to get there. <laughs> but, Mm-hmm. Um, Mark, Tokyo World, Mark, this is, <gasps> okay. Right, oh, okay, well, yes. So this is a private run business and mom and dad are still involved, which is wonderful, but Kenneth being the son took over in 2017. This is the stuff. This. 
I want to try it out. I really, really do. I, I mean, look at the numbers. I mean, yeah, I'm looking forward to ordering some of this from them one day. And I got me a pen. Thank you, thank you. What? Hey, you guys, <laughs> one, two. Really? Uh, wait a minute, hang on a second. You would pick one orchid. That was the deal, you would pick one orchid out of the five that I sent you. <laughs> this is, um, I stuck to my part of the deal, Tokyo World, Mark, <laughs> look at this. All right, we're gonna need ourselves some more space, but there's a box in here that is separate, which I will also take out before I make myself some room here. Oh my word. <clears throat> September, <laughs> September, I'm telling you, is confused with December. This box is amazing. The strongest box I have ever seen. I might actually keep it. And this other little box in here is glued in as well. So, uh, do I take it out or do I just leave it in? Because I don't know what's in here. So let me see. Nothing like a family-run business that shows the love of orchids and how they are treated because it's personal. That's why. Apparently, the dad, because of his chemistry background, created the rain mix for us Europeans. Well, probably worldwide by now, but for us who can't get their hands on reasonably priced MSU fertilizer, and you can also get it, you know, for regular water as well as what they call RO water or rainwater, which is the same as the MSU. So honestly, I feel like an idiot for having gone to the extremes that I did with regards to MSU fertilizer. I really do. I feel like an idiot. But we live and learn, right? We live and learn. As we expand our hobby, we get to learn more. So yeah, that's the only reason I've never ordered from. <gasps> no, I don't believe it. And I've opened it upside down. Reveal, reveal, yes. Da 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 da. Yes. Woo. I am not opening another bag of MSU fertilizer. No way, Jose. This makes me happy. You have no idea. Oh, I've been so looking forward to trying this stuff. So looking forward to it. And you know what? They actually sell it in Portugal, but not in Spain. So maybe we can work on that. So excited. Okay, let's get into the next part. Okay, we're going to start with the big one first. One, two, three, four, five, seven. <laughs> Oh, Tokyo World, Mark, what can I say? A uh, Karen, Kenneth, what can I say? I'm gonna start with a big one. We're gonna go the opposite route. And then we'll see what we can conjure up and get here. And what do I need on tubs? I don't have any more tubs. <laughs> My tubs are kind of occupied at the moment. It's not so windy today, which is nice. And there's something tucked in here. Oh, I've got to be careful. Lots of aerial roots. <laughs> what you? Who are you? My goodness. You see, this is how you know people love their orchids. When they, when they treat them like this and send them on their way. No. <laughs> oh, my word. I'm shaking now. This has been a wishlist orchid of mine. Phalaenopsis pulchra. Waxy pink blooms. Summer bloomer. Oh my word, the pressure. <gasps> the stress of this orchid. Oh yes. There she is, Phalaenopsis pulchra. What a beautiful... <gasps> okay. Yes, I had her on the list. But again, you said one. Now, what am I going to do here? carefully. Well, what I'm going to do is just put them aside carefully as it's not windy in the packaging before I mess things up because I don't have any more room. <laughs> oh, 
Yes! <laughs> yes! I can't believe it! Thank you! <laughs> Thank you so much! Thank you so much! We got ourselves another Repiculus Lelia. I'm telling you the website of the Akern was like honey. I was like a bee to honey. This is another Repiculus Lelia to my collection and it's the Kol Nagoi. I have never seen Floralia even have this. And she is gorgeous. She is gorgeous. I'm gonna just give you a heads up of another unboxing that is coming because I had to separate this out. This unboxing, this whole thing with Tokyo World Arc and a Karen, this has to be a different, this can't not be attached to another unboxing and just as well because I've got something coming up and look at the quality of this beautiful Lelia. Well, Catlia Kolnagoi. That is what I call perfection. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Look at the love and the care. Ooh, hello. I don't know which one this is. I don't actually even remember the name. <laughs> anyway, let's not, let's not waste your time. This is Dendrobium Patricia van Poyenbroek. That's a cross between Baragul and Cobber. Nothing that I'm familiar with at all. But I'm going to get to know you. Oh, I'm going to get to know you. Look at this. Look. This is what I'm talking about when you order orchids. This is what I'm talking about. This. Hello, every other nursery. Look at this example, learn, repeat, copy. <laughs> happy days, happy days, happy days. If you know my channel or if you don't, either way, I'm gonna tell you what's going on here. Oh yes, my collection is built around several factors. There's purpose and reason why I have certain orchids in my collection. One of those factors is names, because names are people that I love, adore, cherish in memory or in real life or as part of my history. And I finally have myself an orchid that has the name Alexandra, which is the name of my daughter. I have so enjoyed growing my Kimmy, even though she never bloomed for me but I've been looking for an orchid that has the name of Alexandra on it. And yes, there are dendrobiums out there, but it's not, that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for an orchid with the name Alexandra. <laughs> I may have to pause this video because this is getting heavy, emotional. Look at this beauty. Look at her. Oh yes, this is orchid top material. Fantastic. Thank you so much. This is another one of those unboxings where you said it was supposed to be one orchid and, and suddenly look at all this. You are so, so kind. Thank you so, so much. I can't knock the quality of this. You just can't knock it. Smiles all around. This is. This is why, hello? Oh, I think, oh no. This is, this is how orchid unboxings should be. Even though I don't know what's coming, I, I wasn't anticipating seven, <laughs> but even though I don't know all of this, you know, you expect an orchid, you're looking forward to it, you've paid some money, you're all excited and you're all anticipated, and then you get your orchid, it's like a lead balloon. That's not what this hobby should be about. And thank you so much, Tokyo World Mark. Here is a Leptotus bicolor. This is what a Leptotus bicolor should look like when you get it home and not something that I received from 2018. Names will not be mentioned in this video. This is Leptotus bicolor. I have never seen a Leptotus bicolor in real life that looks lush and vigorous and all of this. No, 
Thank you. Laptotus bicolor leaves should be this long. <coughs> you should see mine after three years of babying it. That is class. <laughs> oh, the pressure. The pressure. Thank you. I know. I don't deserve this orchid. Oh, the pressure. But I so love it dearly and I really messed mine up. This is Podangus dactylothera. And honestly, my first two did not look like this either. My first two, I messed up the first one badly. It was much smaller. It was like down here. Messed that up badly. I got a second one and I managed to get it to bloom and then messed that one up. I have never seen the Podangas this size. Oh my goodness, you're gorgeous. So this is 3.0. I so want you to make it. I really, really want you to make it. I love you. Oh gosh. I've never seen one, honestly, never seen one look this good. No way. This is a Tolumnia? <laughs> this is a Tolumnia? I was just unpacking, I'm going, can I guess? Can I guess what it is? Because I like doing that. Never. Look at the size of this Tolumnia. This is Tolumnia pomegranate. Look at this. This is a good 18 centimeters. This is. <laughs> This is probably what I was trying to achieve when I almost over-fertilized my entire Tolumnia collection. I wanted something big and vigorous. Dang! Look at the size of this Tolumnia. This is impressive. There is no other way to say this is impressive. My goodness. Oh, Tolumnia pomegranate. You just... You guys, seriously, I'm, I'm going to hit the pause button. I have to regroup, but I'll be right back. Excited. So, so excited. Totally, totally impressed. Very curious. Very, very curious about this Stendrobium. Another one to tick off the list. Super happy. Super, super happy. Oh, what a gorgeous orchid. Oh, and this little guy, 3.0, three times a charm, right? Thrilled to bits, absolutely thrilled to bits. So this one, I have had an upside down pot in the pot because I want to try and make sure that the roots hydrate and they don't get kinked by me stuffing everything into a pot. So everybody has now a soak of what I call my welcome cocktail, 60 parts per million, of calcium magnesium, 40 parts per million of seaweed. And because we have such gorgeous temperatures outside, they can stay like this for the next couple of hours. Are you kidding me? I feel like I've just time warped into a different parallel universe. Orchids like this in a shipment looking like this I'm sorry, that is not the norm and it should be. It really, really should be. Oof, one day I will show you my other Leptotis by color. But for now, let us admire this stash. Thank you so very much. Mark from Tokyo World, Mark YouTube channel for reaching out to me. Your email, I won't repeat it, but I cannot thank you enough. I really cannot. And Akern, Kenneth, really, really appreciate this. And this. Oh my word, am I excited about this? I'm excited about the whole entire haul. What a haul. Thank you. No words can describe how I feel right now, but thank you so very, very much. And everybody that's watched this video, this is inspiring. This restores my faith in nurseries and how it should be done. Mad respect, mad respect. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Please stay safe and take care. Bye.